The 2019 Wyoming legislative session just wrapped up and each week we've been joined by a senator or representative to discuss the highly debated bills. Today I'm honored to have Jillian Balow, superintendent for the Wyoming Department of Education. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, as a member of the executive branch, you're in charge of implementing these educational bills. Yes, the legislative branch and the executive branch need to work closely together, not just during the legislative session, but throughout the year. And that's exactly what we do. One of the new bills deals with reading assessment. And this is quite exciting because I understand it could put Wyoming on the map to become a leader. This is exciting. We went into this session really hoping to clean up and clarify a reading law that's been on the books for years but has been interpreted in lots of different ways. And what we saw happen during the session was uh, pretty remarkable. Parents and students and teachers stepped up and said, we want more for our struggling readers, especially in the early grades. And, uh, and what we came away with during this session was a bill that sets a goal for 85% reading proficiency for the state. And, uh, and this is wonderful news for our students. And another bill helps those students leave high school and be ready for the career force. Yes, uh, from day one, I've been working on expanding opportunities for our students who are interested in career and technical education. The Hathaway Expansion Bill does just that. It provides more flexibility for students to take career and technical education classes during high school and also expands access to the scholarship once they graduate, should they choose to to pursue a career in technical field. I'd love to just focus on all these successes. They're terrific, but we do have to touch upon the disappointments. What are they? And one of my other priorities leading up to this legislative session has been school safety and security and student well-being. Um, unfortunately, the bill that I worked on during the interim with several legislators did not make it to the finish line. It would have created some guidelines uh, for schools and would have uh, created opportunities for us to collaborate at the state level. Do you plan to resurrect this bill in a future session? You know, unfortunately, we can't wait uh, on student safety. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move forward with some, some measures that help ensure school safety in other ways. Uh, we'll continue working with law enforcement, with mental health professionals, and with schools across the state, not only to make sure that our schools are safe, but also to just really safeguard the well-being of every student in Wyoming. Thank you so much for coming on. You've really brought this legislative session full circle. Thank you, Catherine.